Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Uchi of Toche and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I made my own version of the popular the tote bag. So first thing I need to do is my dimension. Now this was a request from a client. I am a bag maker so she sent in her own dimensions and this is what we're going to be working with. 6 by 11 inches so what i'm going to do is just draft out the pieces that i want first i have my front and back piece it's detached so i have my front i have my base and i have my back i also have my side pockets clients wanted me to add two side pockets to a bag um, there is a zipper tab on the top like the top of the bag has a zip so i am going to have that piece as well the zipper tab and i'm going to have two pieces of it now because this is a detached bag, like the front and the base are separated, I'm going to make it 11.5, then use the extra 0.5 inches to connect the base. You would understand as I continue doing it, and if you're a bag maker, you definitely understand what I'm doing right now. So my base is going to be 6 by 13 inches, and then my side pocket, which is where that is going to fit, is going to be about 5 by 7 inches or 6 by 7 inches. And like I said earlier, I'm going to have two sections of the zipper tab. One from one is just going to connect the bag to the zipper tab. It's a bit difficult to explain it, but I would advise you watch the video from the beginning to the end before you attempt to recreate this design. To get the dimension for my zipper tab, um, if you notice I wrote 11.5, the total width of the bag is about 13. So I'm making the zipper tab 11.5 by 3, but I reduced it to 2.5 later on because I just wanted it a bit smaller. Then I made the other one 11.5 by 1.5 inches as well. So that's the double zipper tab. You would keep, well, as you keep watching, you would understand why. So straight up, I'm going to create my pattern. Before I make any bag design, I always draft my pattern first. It's very important to me, which means whenever I need to recreate that design again, I'm not going through this entire sketch process. I'm just going to place my pattern on the pieces, cut it out and get to work. So we're going to measure it. I'm just going to speed past all of this so you guys just see what it looks like. I forgot to write out the dimension for the side so now the side is determined by the length of the body of the bag and the width of the side of the bag which is 11.5 by 6 inches okay so we're going to just write out 11.5 by 6 inches but we're going to cut out 0.5 inches on the bottom part kind of like that triangle you're seeing so our full length now because it's 0 0.5 0 0.5 the width is now going to be 7 inches instead of 6 inches and then the length remember yes the body is 11.5 but we said we are going to remove 0 0.5 to connect the base to the body so our actual body is 11 so we're going to now make the length of the side 11.5 because we're cutting out a 0 0.5 difference do let me know in the comments if you want an in-depth tutorial on pattern creation because without pattern creation you won't really understand bag making so if you want me to do a tutorial on how you can draft pattern for basically any bag design please comment thank you and if you've not hit the subscribe button please subscribe and like this video So what I'm doing right now is drafting out my structure piece. Um, like I always say, please watch to the end of the video then you understand what the pieces are. Now I'm making it a bit smaller because these are just going to fit on the inside of the bag to give the bag shape. I don't use board like this board you're seeing. I don't use this body making my bag. I use leather, a type of leather um, in making my bags. So it's malleable and it's also waterproof. 
but I use this board to give the back structure. So I'm just cutting out the structure piece for the front, the back and the base of the bag. Keep watching and you'll understand all the steps and procedures. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to drop it in the comment and I'll be sure to answer. So this is what I use. It's leather, it's malleable, it's not too thick, it's not too soft, which means the bag doesn't even have that much weight. My bags usually weigh less than 1 kg. This particular bag weighs about 0.5 kg. So I am going to be tracing out all my pieces, two pieces of the body, the base, the side, the side pocket, the zipper tab. I'm going to be tracing everything on the leather. I'm just going to do that off camera to make this video as short as possible. Everything is all prepped. Those are the two parts as the front and the back of the bag. This is the base of the bag. We have the side, two for the sides of the bag. These are the zipper tabs, two long, two bigger ones and two smaller ones. And these are for the side pockets as well. So next thing, I'm going to start gluing everything down and you'll see the process as well. Before we get into the gumming of the bag, if you notice the strap of the tote bag, the strap goes all the way from the top to the bottom of the bag. So we need to draw that out as well. So I did the measurement of camera and I have my measurement. So I am going to be using a webbing, which is going to make this so seamless and easy. I don't need to cut anything out. I mostly work with Ankara but this was a client's request and she wanted black denim everything black so I'm making it happen for her We have all our pieces and this is what the handle is going to look like. I need to also measure out the distance and what I want it to look like. So this looks okay for me. So I'm just making sure that it's equal on both sides and I decided I'm going to use a 2.5 spacing. I'm using a chalk so it's very legible and it's something I can easily clean off after I'm done making it. So I'm going to mark it out at the top as well so I have a really straight line to work with when it's time to sew the bag. So this is what's going to look like the front the base and the back now remember we made the length of this bag 11.5 instead of 11 so now i'm just marking out the 0.5 now that 0.5 is where we're going to sew 
the base of the bag so that's where it's going to be connected so the bag would end up being 11 by 6 by 11 so i'm going to do the same on the other side and sew it all together This is what the bag currently looks like. I will trim all the threads later on. But see, this is what it looks like. It has zero structure. It's just there. So that's where these pieces come into place. Remember when I said I cut one and I removed about two inches. So I'm going to gum. I'm going to glue the structure to the bag. So you see that it gives it a bit more definition and it makes the bag look more like a tote bag. Structured. I already marked out this point. This is the way I'm going to put my bag bottoms. I usually use the screw ones. So I am just screwing it to the bag. Next up we have our lining. I usually use suede to line my bag. I already cut all of this off camera. We have the body, we have the side, we have the side pocket and we have the pieces for the zipper tab as well. So now I'm just going to pin the pockets. I want the bag to have an inner zippered pocket so I'm using this pre-made zip and I'm just going to pin it and then take everything to the sewing machine to sew. I'm just going to glue the lining to the pieces then take everything to the sewing machine to sew them in place. It's finally coming together that's the zipper tab that's the side with the pocket that a bottle can actually fit into it i had to test it out to so see that so you can have your water bottle in the side pockets there are two of them and we have the inner pockets as well yeah that's my brand name tochi make sure you check us check us out on instagram i'll link it in the description box the bag has an inner zippered pocket as well and now i'm going to start assembling the bag
zipper tab soon i'm just going to open that up so it's easy for me to assemble i'll put the zipper that's the zipper i'm going to fix that one much later so i'm just going to put a little bit of gum at the edges of the bag and also at the edges of the side as well this is because I don't want anything moving when I take it to the sewing machine. I have an arm sewing that sewing machine. I actually didn't record the sewing part. I'm really sorry about that. Um, but I have an arm sewing that machine that I use in coupling it. I left it for a couple of minutes so the gum gets tacky so it doesn't affect me while I'm sewing if you sew with fresh gum it is going to be a disaster so I am just assembling it here I didn't realize my camera was out of focus apologies um, but I was able to bring it back into focus at some point so I am just assembling the bag and putting it together at this point <laughs> here i took it to the sewing machine to sew it this is the finished look guys this is what it looks like isn't she stunning and just see how roomy she looks there's an inner zippered pocket as well right there underneath my label all you have to do is open it and then there's a zip there as well very easy to use very stunning and this bag can be made in any fabric of your choice as well I also made an adjustable detachable strap that you just clip onto the sides like that and you can always use it to increase use the adjuster that you can see there to increase or reduce the length of the strap depending on how you want it to look when you carry it um, over your shoulder I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video if you have any questions please do not hesitate to drop them in the comments please like share and subscribe if you have not subscribed i have a whole lot more videos like this coming up and i am open to doing tutorials as well thank you so much for watching